You've caught passes from Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Eli Manning, Romo, Cutler. What made each of those guys' balls unique, and who had the strongest arm? Yeah, we got to slow down with that question. <laughs> uh, I think Aaron Rodgers has the strongest arm and has the most talented arm as far as throwing the ball. Eli probably had like the weakest arm out of all those guys. Um, Tom Brady is the most consistent thrower. Like, you know, like you could run a route and you could know where the ball is going to be with your eyes closed. Um, just because of the repetition with him, you just know where to expect the ball. Tony Romo threw a very catchable ball. Like, it was very, like, soft. I didn't catch a lot of balls from Tony. Um, but as I look back at watching him and seeing him play, I realized how good of a quarterback he was. So he had a great touch, great ball, great back shoulder fade, good jump ball. And that's what happened to Dez when Dak, you don't have to be as open with Tony because he could put the ball in the right spot for you to catch it. That's kind of what happened to Dez. Dak wasn't as comfortable throwing that jump ball and that back shoulder phase. So that's when Dez, Dez kind of had a decline because he had to be with the right quarterback who didn't need him to be wide, wide open, right? Um, so, um, but yeah, those like the the guys. I really love John Kitna. John Kitna is probably one of my most favorite quarterbacks to ever play with. Um, He's just a great dude, but all those other guys are very, they're all talented, obviously, like they're all Super Bowl champions except for Romo. Right. And Color. Color. Had, no, actually, Color, Color, Color had a stronger arm. I forgot that. Color had a stronger arm than Aaron. Not as accurate as Aaron and had the arm talent of Aaron, but as far as someone who could just throw the ball, um, definitely Color.